This is a tutorial for Trimble Site Vision. For more information on this product, visit sitevision.trimble.com or contact your local dealer. Hello, and welcome to another Trimble Site Vision tutorial. In this segment, we'll be going through 2D and 3D model views, layers, distance and transparency sliders. Once your model has been loaded into Site Vision and placed into the real world, you now have many more options open to you for displaying and analyzing your models. In addition to the 3D view of your model in the real world, you can also view your model from a top-down 2D view called Plan View. To toggle between Plan View and the 3D view, tap the cube icon on the lower right corner of the screen. This view is great for orienting yourself within the model or to help find your model if you have moved off the main site. Unlike 3D view, you can pan and zoom with two fingers to look across a larger or smaller area. If your models were built using multiple layers, Site Vision allows you to view individual layers from a loaded model to look at your information in different ways. To do this, tap the layers icon on the top right corner of the screen. From here, you can enable or disable specific layers of your model by tapping the eye icon to the right of the layer's name. If you want to hide or show the model itself, Select the eye next to the name of the model to toggle its visibility. Site Vision has a selection of three sliders available for you to use. The Transparency Slider, the Cross-Section Slider, and the View Distance Slider. By default, the Transparency Slider is the horizontal slider visible on the bottom right of the screen, and you can use this to alter the transparency of your model. Useful for visualizing where your model is in the real world or for just keeping safe. To enable the other sliders, tap the menu icon in the lower left corner, then select Tools, followed by Display Settings. Enable the Cross Section and View Distance sliders by selecting their checkboxes to the left of their name. Once you've done this, exit the window by tapping the X icon on the upper right. The Cross Section slider is the horizontal slider visible on the left of the screen and allows you to take vertical cross sections of your models from the front, with the orientation of the cutting plane being parallel to the back of your phone. Move the slider to the left or right to cut further or less into your own model. Finally, the View Distance slider is the vertical slider visible on the left side of the screen and controls the maximum distance from the camera that the model is rendered. Move the slider up or down to adjust how far your model can be viewed. This is useful for viewing long models like roads or pipelines and can speed up the rendering time of the model 